Hey guys, um, this is Paris of Face Paint with Paris. Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, as you can see, I'm in my dining room because I needed a whole lot of space. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my Bass Pro Shop Deluxe Kitchen Camp Table. So I decided to go with the Deluxe because it has this um, side panel. And when it's really um, windy, it's not going to blow everything here. And I have definitely experienced that with my table setups where literally a gust of wind just blows everything and the table. <laughs> so this is pretty stable. It has um, stakes at the bottom. Of course, all this stuff is still in the box. It has another little side table. Um, that is detachable over here and I've already gone ahead and took it off because I don't really need that much but if I was at um, a fair or a festival and I wanted that extra space that would be you know awesome to have and I got this idea from Bumblebee's face painting if I'm correct I'll um, pop her up on the screen right here i really enjoy surface area and i feel like in the community there's a lot of people who are like ashamed of saying that they get something else besides the craft and go but you know people don't get a craft and go for a lot of different reasons the main reason for me is that it's 500 dollars, you know and being a college student i can't really justify spending 500 dollars. in this video i'm going to show you how i trick it out so stay tuned so I just got back from Lowe's and I'm pretty sure you can go to Home Depot or your local hardware shop but what you want to get is a uh, sheet metal and this was on the electrical aisle I want to say aisle 11 in Lowe's and then also something to cut sheet metal you, you cannot use regular scissors so these were $20 but I'm gonna use this because the man said um, cause she used a caulking gun with hers. He said this is, um, easier because it's a squeeze tube. Most importantly, you want gloves. I just, uh, grabbed those from my trunk. This is very sharp, like absolutely sharp. You do not want to cut yourself. So be aware of your toes, be aware of your hands, um, and just really do your due diligence to be safe when working with this. I just put it on, I, I put the lid down and I just put the sheet on top. And now what I'm going to do is um, measure where I need to cut. So basically make a line with a Sharpie and a ruler all the way down. I'm not going to go like flush to this line. I'm going to go over just like a little bit more. <laughs> so let's just get started. These shears, it like cuts like butter, but definitely wear your gloves. All your hooks to one side and then slide it in this way and then bend it under those hooks make sure you have on your gloves because if not that would hurt and now it's in there so so here's what I just got from Joann's I decided to go with the holographic um, because I want to put some LED lights around the top part so I want it, it to reflect in a lot of different colors on this and then for this table and then this main table I got black and this is the chalkboard vinyl you can also get this on Amazon but like I said I really wanted to start today and then what's the name of this this is holographic sparkle vinyl and then I also picked up just two packets of magnets I'm definitely gonna need more but I just wanted to see how much I could do today and then I got in a brand new exacto knife so I can um, cut my vinyl really easily and have nice crisp line all right so I have this spray bottle just filled with um, some soapy water um, because uh, they like to make sure that they're oily so they don't rust in the store so there is just like a little bit of oil film on it and I want my vinyl to adhere to it with no problem so yeah i'm just gonna wipe off the surface and make sure that it is oil free and then i'll begin with the wrapping okay so here's what it looks like all wrapped again i wrapped it while it was on the tile and pretty much it's just how you wrap wallpaper you just want to go like line by line and then I put it in in the same way I showed you guys how I did it for dry fitting 
And yeah, I'm just <laughs> even using some heavy books to weigh it down while it dries. For this part, the wall, I used um, extra metal because I wanted more surface area to put magnets on. And then I wrapped that as well. Okay, now that the back is dry, I just want to show you guys the surface area. So I wrapped it the same as I did the other holographic areas, but if you can see that I did it, so I did a, just a little bit of an overlapping seam, and I did that so no water or anything could go underneath. And for this side panel, I wrapped it all the way under there just for like appearance purposes. And then also, I took the tub out this can come out and I wrapped it um along underneath there and then put that back and yeah that's pretty much how I wrapped it then I went ahead and got this um LED light set off of Amazon and I'll put the link in the description box below it's battery powered and I just turn it on like that you can change the settings, but I kind of like how fast it's going right now. I could have cut that little part off, but I guess it's easy enough and you don't have to be an electrician, but <laughs> I'm just gonna decide to keep it for now. It's not bothering me too much. The kit comes with these baskets that you can hang right here. You can choose what level that you want them on. And so what I did while setting up my kit, I really wanted to tailor it to myself. And so this area is where I was gonna put um, my glitter poofers and glitter bottles and stuff. But as you can see, they won't stay up and actually that one fell right through so <laughs> that's not gonna work uh so what i did was i cut out like a i don't know what is this like a folder and some like cardstock <laughs> and i kind of made it like an insert and now they don't fall through so that's kind of like the little tips and tricks that I would give you guys is to set your kit up um, multiple times so you can troubleshoot anything that you would like. Like here, this is a business card holder, well a space for my business card holder and I wanted it to stay so I just went to Dollar Tree and got some um, Velcro dots. So just things like that you want to completely tailor it to yourself. I want some banners to put um, on this side and on the front, but I don't have all that right now. So for right now, this is my kit. I really, really love it. It's super sturdy. I'm actually filming this portion of the video like months later and I've had several events since then and it's super sturdy. I've washed down the tabletop and basically the whole thing and it doesn't stain and so I really love it um in the next video I'll show you guys what's in my kit and how I set it up so if you really like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next video bye